Yeah, I don't use OBS. That shit sucks. Butt hash. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. Big Papa, why do I keep getting Dragon off QCF plus one after canceling F plus three with DF? I just want the standing jab. Yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic. You're not going to like my answer. Ah, excuse me. You can't do a standing jab but hash. Jack Miller, out of a crouch dash. You cannot limit me to three words, bitch. I have great grammar for a stoner. Hey, you just got parried. Thanks very much, Super Savvy. Uh, yeah, you got like six words off there. But I appreciate it. And jo Joseph Stylin, in two words, official and soul, bad guts. Thanks. Uh, let's go to an infinite stage and I'll explain to you how that works. It's the same as Tekken Tag 2. And it's hard to do. This is another case of, ooh, this guy does all these combos on YouTube, but I can't figure out how to do them. So, uh, let's <laughs> talk first of, first of all about his crouch dash. His crouch dash is actually a roll dash. Butthead. Let's not talk Jack about what that means. Hi, Aris. Hey. Grimy Ack. Thanks very much, and based Kaneki. And I played your waifu. Thanks very much, guys. So, this crouch dash, uh, if you do a crouch dash into one, Ball normally, dash. you That's get a crouch no dash one. Hey, Aris, me again. It's been a week and I still can't make Hey, thanks very much. Uh, uh, Senpai Zed, very nice of you. Let me stay focused here, though. You guys are being a little too generous. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, oh yes, I remember. Okay, so what he's asking me about is how to do combos that involve the forward three step kick. So he's asking about combos that involve this. He wants to do the jab after a crouch dash, but when he hits one out of a crouch dash, he's getting that. So. The reason is because roll dash has to be cancelled with up. It's kind of like a crouch cancel. It's kind of like a crouch cancel. You know how I mentioned in a previous uh, question, I taught you guys how to crouch cancel, right? By hitting up. So what you want to do is, you want to do up and then jab. So forward three, up jab. Now, that seems complicated and it is. It's gonna get even more complicated, right? Because you can't just do up jab and let it work. That's not gonna work. Every character in this game, not every character I should say, some characters in this game have two types of jab. A regular one and a lead jab, which is forward one. Forward one looks very similar to standing one, but it has a little bit more range. So in this case, in this combo, you wanna do Forward three, step kick, forward one. Forward three, step kick, forward one. So what you're doing is forward three, down forward, up, forward one. Forward three, down forward, up, forward one. But you gotta do it so fast that you don't see anything. This is where they turn Dragon off into a hard character. He used to be really simple, real easy. But then they added this step kick shit, which is super good. Very, very high tier, wall carry, good damage. He can convert off of tons of shit in this game, but it's hard to do. So, the command, as I said earlier, forward three down forward, that gives you the step kick into the crouch dash. Then up, which puts you in full standing position. Then lead jab, which is forward one. That's how you do it. Now, in the combo, let's say just a regular bread and butter, right? Forget the bread and butter. Let's just use an example of step kicks. See, it's hard to do. You have to practice it. Let me sit back. That type of a combo, or another good example of it would be here. Thank you. you can't do that? Or how about... Oh yeah, that hits. See what I mean? The wall carry is 
is pretty wild with this. The command history there gives you an idea of how to do it. You have to hit up to get out of the crouch dash. That's really the key. You're stuck in this crouch dash when you hit down forward. So you have to hit up to get out of the crouch dash. But to then get out of the side step, you have to do forward one. Now, the faster you do it, the less the sidestep is going to come out. So slow motion is big sidestep, right? But you got to do it faster and faster until there's no sidestep. Same goes for the other side. So let's do a restart settings, position switch. So same goes, you still go up. Because you're in a crouch dash, so you can't go down. You always have to go up. It's kind of similar to crouch canceling. So you go up, and then the lead jab. Same thing goes on this side. You got It's hard to do. You gotta have full control. Butt hash, Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. Hey, January, thanks very much. And Rossman, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Anyway, I hope that helped. It's a it's a hard combo. Are you guys talking shit about my camera? This camera is good luck. It's dope. Butt anyway, hash. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. I hope that helped. That's how you do step kick. It's hard to do. I miss when Dragon Off was an easy character. All you had to worry about was running too. The rest was fucking with your eyes closed. But half. Uh, excuse me. Roll dash. You can. You have to wait the entire recovery before you can cancel out. Uh, no, not. Uh, okay. I. I guess I didn't. Uh, I wasn't clear on that part. So, fuck. I don't want to go back to Dragon Off to explain that part. But the roll dash you get out of a forward three cancel is not the same as doing it manually. A manual roll dash with a uh, crouch dash, I'm not even gonna call it roll dash. The, a manual crouch dash with dragon off, you can cancel at any time. So you can do a snake dash. You can sidestep up at any point. But the one you get out of a forward three has a restriction. So you can't just do forward three and then cancel it immediately. You have to go into the crouch dash, then cancel it halfway through. So the crouch dash, basically the crouch dash you get out of a forward three cancel is not the same as a regular crouch dash. It has a restriction, which is why you have to wait to cancel it. Butt uh, hash. Anyway. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News.